All right, December 30, 2023. Let's do a little profitability history over the past month for uh, for my hardware, but you can do it for yours as well. I do like this e uh, this nice hash profitability calculator. Uh, go to it. You can put in your hardware. You can put in your electricity cost, and you can get an idea what it is uh, currently at, and you can compare it to what actually is uh, being produced by your rig. So if you think your hash rate is high, low, or something isn't working, you can uh, compare your nice hash dashboard on your rig to what the um, profitability calculator is displaying for that day for your hardware and your um, electricity cost. So here I have the old electricity cost at 0 0.11 11 cents per kilowatt hour and I'm using an AMD CPU Ryzen 9 uh, 3900X. I know people have more juicier CPUs, but again, I have not purchased any new hardware because if I would have purchased anything new for the amount of money I've made thus far, I would still not have an ROI on that. And I'm just doing this on old equipment from two years ago. It works fine. Uh, the only thing I, I did was scavenge my other GPU rigs for memory, DDR4 memory, to fill in uh, at least two channels on each CPU rig before, as an idiot, I didn't realize I, I had only one stick on maybe half of my CPU rigs. Therefore, the hash rate was maybe 40% lower than uh, the profitability calculator was estimating that I should be making. So memory is king along with the CPU. They uh, work together. So yeah, make sure you have at least two channels of memory Two, two memory sticks in there, the right memory for your uh, motherboard, DDR4. And uh, yeah, go with that. So here we have the AMD CPU Ryzen 9 3900X. I hit McCalculate and it's down, okay? <clears throat> so it's been down a while. So what does that mean? It's good to see, it's good to see the trends over the past month, just to give you a warm fuzzy of where things are at so you don't freak out or going, oh, this is useless. Is the sky falling or, or is it going to shoot to the moon? You just don't know. It's a hobby. It's for fun. Come on. This is not life-changing wealth building money at all. So let's go down. You can see the breakout. We've been through this a couple other times, but it is a good tool to use to get your warm daily fuzzy on how your hardware is doing. Or if you want to go buy new hardware, you can put in your hardware right here. Oh, I want to get a 5950. Boom. You can put it in there and see what it's going to generate. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Oh, I got to hit calculate again. Hold on. It whacked out my table. All right. Let's go. 67 USD. That's after electricity. So here it's a 95 cents a day. Electricity is pretty hefty. 28 cents. Uh, 67 cents a day. 30. 29.61 uh, a month after electricity, not including transaction fees to move your lovely Bitcoin crypto to your wallet because you do not want to leave any crypto on any exchange, not your keys. Repeat after me. Let's do it again. On three. One, two, three. Not your keys, not your coins. If they're on an exchange, Coinbase. Uh, what's that other one? Binance. KuCoin. Oh, my God. What else is out there? Oh, I see I've, blo I've, drawn, a, I've drawn a blank because I, I just stopped using most of the exchanges. But remember BlockFi and Voyager. Boom. They went belly up, and a lot of people lost their crypto, and it got a fraction of it in a, in a settlement. It's just ridiculous. Get them off. Get them off the exchange. That's all I'm going to say about it. All right, let's go down. Let's look at the chart. This is what I want to point out today. All right, here is a. this is useful, I think, because when I saw this thing ticking up before Thanksgiving, I was going, oh, my God, this is actually profitable. I have no idea. I was playing around with one of my rigs. And I went, wait, I can actually get two bucks a day? on this stupid old dusty CPU rig sitting on my uh, my uh, Borg CPU rig uh, baker shelf. And I said, holy crap, let's fire these these bastards up and uh, learn how to tweak them and get the power, I mean, the uh, voltage down and the temperature down as well. Uh, you Yeah, baby steps, you learn as you go, right? I'm sure there's still more tweaking that can be done, but I'm happy. Happy with the way things are and uh, the house is not burned down. So that's all I care about. All right. So, oh, uh, what is this date here? My God, November 29th. We were at a buck eighty-two, a buck eighty-three, 
And let's see, what is that looking at? And 0.000048, 40 Bitcoin. Okay. And you can go through here, see where it went. Now let's look at the peak. All right, we got some peaks up here, big daddies. Uh, 232, that's when I was going, holy crap. Six rigs at about, you know, say two bucks each. That's not too bad, man. We're talking like 12 bucks a day. Woo, big daddy. That's some uh, that's some fun money, right? That'll pay for a dinner out with the little woman. Uh, and as you go, you know, we kind of went up and we went down. We went sideways. We went nowhere. And we went backwards and all that good stuff. 225, was that the highest? 230, yeah, two right here, big daddies right there. 246. Uh, 246 was the highest on this Ryzen 9, baby. Not bad. And then you kind of see we got some dipping going on here. FOMO kicked in. People all jumped in, I think, and dropped the hash rate or something was going on here. Then we kind of got a nice little spike back. Look at that. Woo, big dad. All right, 171. Excitement time. Now you see it kind of trending down. We're kind of trending nice and evenly, too, which is good. It's not a huge a huge drop off down to zero or Z or whatever you want to call it. So now we kind of spike back up. Is this Nitmus time? Right after Christmas. Let's go back to Christmas. Let's see if the sweet little baby Jesus gave us some extra Bitcoin for Christmas. Sweet little baby Jesus was about 89 cents that day on that card. That's okay. It's his birthday. He needs a break. So 95. And let's go down till today. Oh my gosh. Uh, Bucko 2. All right. It didn't update yet because right now it's showing before electricity was what, guys? You remember? This is the test. Were you paying attention? Look, I can't even scroll. I'm an idiot. 95 cents. So looking at this, you can kind of see the trend. I'll zoom out. Zoom out. Watch me break it. Oh, my God. Hold on. Yeah, you can see the line here. Kind of getting flat, which is interesting. It's not, like I said, it has a nose dove. Dove, dove, divin, dovin. English hard, man. I'll tell you, public school did me a disservice. All right. Let's go. I guess I should have paid attention, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we're hovering here. So we're hovering on a buck. Let's just say a buck before electricity. So that's kind of an interesting sign. Uh, I want to hopefully see this go back up in the new year. And I want to know what this Bitcoin ETF or anything's going to do. If that's going to make hashing better. Uh, I have no idea. I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm just figuring this out as I go. I just like looking at metrics like this. It was nice. This is, I remember back here, the end of November was beautiful. The first week of December. It's like, wow, this is actually interesting. And now it's kind of dropped down, but it's steady. And let's see if it jumps back up. So you can do this for any hardware you're interested in buying uh, or with stuff you have right now. Mostly AMD stuff. Intel's do not do well. CPU mining uh, with this Monero X stuff that uh, you use your CPUs to mine for un unminable. Zerg pull and Monero Ocean, it's all Monero, XMR, and NiceHash, which is their NiceHash Monero uh, algorithm. Uh, look at this, yeah, random X Monero, big daddies. 13.17, and there's your wattage. That's interesting, because my wattage on my rig is about 90 watts with the fan and the 3900X based on hardware info on the Windows 10 box. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's the, what else we got here? I think the next video I'm going to do is on... That's all I want to do about that. So go look this up. Gives you warm fuzzy where the prices have been per hardware. it make you feel better. There's a next video, I think. If you guys know anything about easy mining, you're basically buying into a pool or uh, whatever. You're buying the... Uh, uh, what is it over here? Hold on. I'm going to read it to you because I've I just read it and I totally forgot. What is easy mining? Easy mining is the original concept of mining. You validate blocks of cryptocurrency transactions with your own computing power and get reward for your work. But mining has evolved so much that now very large pools, uh, large groups of computing power, make it much harder for an easy miner to find a block on their own since you are competing against much larger operations and they split the rewards amongst all the miners. True, it's harder now to get a block. Uh, it's, yeah. But what if you could summon up the hash power uh, on demand and use it to mine? Why easy mining? This is exactly what nice hash does. Does we provide the hash power of other miners so that you can use it to try and mine a block yourself. 
meaning you potentially get the whole kit and caboodle, baby, Bach reward. And you do not have to share it with anyone. It's my ball and I'm going home. Uh, yeah, you can look at it and it shows you your chances of finding a block right here. They are still much higher. Let's go through this. With easy mining, you have a lower chance to validate a block, but but when you do, it's it's like paying a lottery, right? But when you do, you get a block reward. Uh, each, for example, 6.25 bitcoins. About I don't know about that. The chances of finding a block are still much higher than winning a lottery. <laughs> All right. So you're basically buying a lottery ticket with maybe a little bit chances of winning. So I don't know. I'm still I'm still doubtful. Why share if you don't have to? All right, you can go through here and look at it yourself. If you're doing it, let me know. Let me know and maybe tell me tell me how your experience is on it. All right, that is all I got. I wanted to show you the chart. And um, we're holding steady on mining. It's down for my little cards. I'm sure most other people out there dropped some bucks and bought some other hardware and are doing quite well. But that's yeah, fun. Keep it up. Use the tools out there to make you or help you help you understand the ecosystem, the trends, what's happening in the in the mining world right now and again i'm strictly now having been through all the altcoins mining these little crappy coins and putting them in many different core wallets all over the place not knowing where and what exchange i can dump these things on and i'm not willing to go open another 500 accounts just to dump bittorium and make 20 cents and it's so stupid i'm so done with it so right now with nice hash if it wasn't for nice hash after having gone through the Zerg pull days and uh, uh, what do you call it, the Monero Oceans of the world and all the other different ways you can mine brute force and with scripts and that. Nice hash, nice hash miner. It's just easy button for me. I can just set it, forget about it. And guess what? I get paid in Bitcoin and I'm stacking those coins and it's fun. It's a hobby. It's good. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I got, um, I had Raptorium in a, uh, what is that? I know Z thing. I, requested a payout from the smart nodes and hopefully this week it's going to come out it's been over a month month now since i requested to get my raptorium out again not your keys not your coins on that smart node i know they have my raptorium and they could decide to lose it or not give it to me at all and that's a big risk and now it shows you the downside of it is they're holding it and i want it and it's going to take it takes about a month to get that payout sent to my wallet so I'm still waiting on it. It's going to dump to my wallet on my Windows box. And once I get it, then I, I, probably some fees involved with getting it over, blah, 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 blah. Then I'm going to move it over to some dumb exchange that handles Raptorium. And I'm going to freaking swap it in kind to Bitcoin. Move. That's going to be another fee-based transaction and a taxable event, right? Exciting. Uh, but it's probably a loss because I think I've been mining it when Raptorium was high a uh, year and a half or two years ago, right? All right, then I get Bitcoin. All right, now I got to transfer that back to my wallet because I do not leave crypto on these damn exchanges. It's the Wild West yet, man. It's just, and they're getting hacked, and uh, it's just not good to leave stuff on exchanges. Move it back to my wallet, pay another freaking transaction fee on the Bitcoin, and then maybe I have a percentage left, and I'm done with the freaking crap coins, and then, uh, yeah, and I can just focus on Bitcoin. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. That's all I got. Enough ranting. Rant, 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 rant. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, I'm going to start looking at this easy mining stuff, but I, it looks like gambling to me. Well, it's all gambling. It's all speculation. All right, go forth. Oh, go forth, do great things. And again, the YouTube internet is for entertainment only, guys. Just consume it. Treat everything as entertainment. Doubt, but verify. A lot of folks just want clicks, views. I don't really care. I'm just out there making these for fun and to kind of, chronologue or video log or blog my uh, learning experience with this stuff um yeah who knows who knows what it's gonna do you know like they say it could go up could go down uh what could it do sideways or it could do nothing at all um yeah again a small percentage of my portfolio is in this crap the rest is in very secure stuff index funds uh bonds uh money markets <laughs> so you know do not put more money in than you're willing to lose because, uh, yeah, treat it as entertainment, as a hobby. Just be realistic about it. All right, go forth, do great things. I'm out. Take care. Bye. Boom.